today on Be Something Wonderful, how to manifest your SP back to stay. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Subscribers, welcome back. When we talk about SP, if you're new to the channel or new to this stuff, we're referring to a specific person, manifesting a specific person back to stay. But really, this can apply to any desire, any wish that you have. So I get an email this morning from one of our uh, subscribers that said, Tom, I have no issue. I have no problems manifesting anything. I can, I can, I'm, I'm a great creator. I'm, I'm really happy with what I've manifested in my life. But with my SP, I can't seem to manifest him to stay. And here's the story. The first time I manifested him, we run in the same circles. Everything was great. We were even planning a future together. He was planning a future for us together. But he did say, that, that he has to work on himself first before they can move forward in that future. And so, sure enough, uh, in a little while later, he ghosts me. And then, and then some time, about a month passed, and then he resurfaced and said, you know, I made a mistake, I really want to be with you, and then we were back together again. And then after a little while, he started getting more doubts and fears again, and he left. And no one compares to him. I really want to be with him. And I understand that, it, that, it's, that the first time it was due to my insecurities when he said he had to work on himself. And then, but, but what's going on? How come he left again? And how come, and, and, and will it happen again? Well, guys, we're going to unpack this in more. The first thing that stands out when I hear this is that, is that there's, a, there's a focus more on the desire or your SP than moving to the state or the, assuming the state where you're with your SP or you're one with your desire or you already have your wish fulfilled. Hear this, this is big, right? That's the first thing that stands out. The second thing that stands out is that you have your SP on a pedestal, this thing about um, uh, the, the, he, no one compares to him. That I, there, there's, it sounds like that there, it's like an ultimatum that I must be with him. Like there's a lot of importance on that. You, you got a lot of importance that you, that you must have him or you must have that desire. These two things combined will push your desire away. You will not be able to hold on to it. So, so let's unpack it. Uh, so what does Neville Goddard say? Well, this is what Neville says. One of the greatest pitfalls in attempting to use the law of assumption is focusing your attention on the things. Hear this. He's saying that one of the greatest pitfalls in attempting to use the law of assumption, assuming your state fulfilled, your wish fulfilled, assuming that state where you already have your desire, assuming that ideal or already being that ideal, it is, is that when you use that, to fo you will focus on the things. You start shifting to, to the attention on the desire. You start shifting to putting your attention on the SP or on, that, on him versus on the state of being with him, of the state of already being with him, of a state where he never goes you and he doesn't, and he, there is no fear and that he always wants to be with you. Do you get this, guys? Because when you shift your attention to the things, that's when you drag old stories, old beliefs, and old assumptions with you. Right? And this is what's causing you not to be able to hold on to your desire or hold on to your SP because you're dragging those up, that old story that he will leave, that he will ghost you, those old beliefs that he will bail on you, that old assumption that he won't stay with you into the present and that is then manifesting into the future. Hear this. Neville talks about this a little bit more when he talks about Matthew 6.33 in Scripture. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be provided to you. The kingdom, what's the kingdom? That's, in, that's entire creation. What's in God? That's your I am awareness. Entire creation, or that I am awareness is within you, right? Seek first that creation or that God that's within you, right? And then his righteousness, what's that? That's the, your awareness of already being everything you want to be, already having it all, already being it all, already being in that state that you desire to be at, right? When you do that, then all other things will be provided to you. He'll stay, you'll live happily ever after, you'll have lots of money, whatever it is, right? That's what we're talking about. And then in Matthew 5.20, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes 
or Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Hear this, the same idea. Your righteousness, your righteousness is what? Your righteousness is that awareness of already having it all. The, the consciousness that I am awareness that of already being that which you desire to be, already having your wish fulfilled, already living your wish fulfilled. That's what we're talking about. Unless that righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees. What do the scribes and Pharisees represent? The 3D world, Out, outside appearances, right? They, resent, they, they represent the rules and the customs of the 3D world, and, and a, they represent limitation, right? A state of limitation, vain desirings, right? Unless your, your righteousness surpasses them, you will not enter the kingdom, right? You will not, you will not enter that that higher state of awareness where you already have it all, where you already are all that. Hear this. This is big today, guys. So, so the, the subscriber says, well, how do I do it? So if it is that my insecurities, if it is my belief that he will leave or ghost me again, how do I get past that? How do I get past these old stories, these old beliefs and old assumptions? By imagining. And here's, and here's it, and not just imagining, not just an imaginal act about the future together, but revising your memories of the past. Why? What are your memories of the past? Your memories are simple mental images or imaginal acts in the past. Hear this, we talked about this in a previous video. So it's not only creating imaginal act or your wish fulfilled for, for a future with him, but it's also revising the past memories. Why can we do this? Because we talked about this. Because we, in the 3D world, we always think that events create the memories. And those memories create feelings and beliefs around it, th those events, right? But it's the other way around. It's the other way around. It's the memories, it's the mental images. We know this now that create the feelings and assumptions that create the events. It's the imaginal act. So we just gotta go back and revise those memories, create new memories, create new mental images or imaginal acts of the past. What are, those mental, what are those new memories? Of him not ghosting you, of him not being fearful, of him ne have, having never left you, right? When you do that, when you change that past by, by reimagining those memories, by rewriting the script, by creating new mental events, you create new feelings and assumptions in the present that create new events in the present and a new future. That's how you do it. That's how to manifest your SP back for good. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or write me anytime at info at be something wonderful .com. I would love to hear from you. Visit our website as well at TomKaren.com and be something wonderful .com. Until next time, with great love, see you soon.